know, I bought those glasses ages ago, and yeah. I just haven't worn them because they brought the mask mandate back. Yeah, and wearing fogged glasses, up. And fogged up, and then they've been sitting in. I, I got the, I got the benefits. I need, I need I, so we have uh, cue cards just to remind us of some stuff below the camera. Why do we don't use cue cards. Oh no, we know everything all the time. <laughs> we have time for everything, and I can't see a quacking thing, man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, very exciting stuff. Yeah. One, T4 is right there. Right there. Batteries are there. We're gonna put them together today. We've got a fully ready T4. We're gonna, We're gonna film the unboxing right after this. Yep. Uh, but this video is not about the T4. So, well, it is. Kinda. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in there. Yeah. This video is about all the new wheels. All the new wheels. The InMotion V13, the Master Pro, the two big boys, and then the the Go T4, which yep. is. 67 pounds, that's not really a... Do we do it's not a big for kilos? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, no we don't, because Americans are pounds, Canadians are pounds. And Anyone in the rest of the world, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, well, <laughs> once we expand into Europe, we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah. we'll start pointing to kilos. Um, anyway, very exciting new wheels. Uh, sometimes I think too many new wheels. Because we gotta throw down a bunch of money from a retailer's and, like, perspective. God. Fingers crossed they sell well. Because if yeah. they don't, we're stuck with all this inventory. So yeah. it's really uh, interesting gauging whether or not a wheel will sell. So yeah. at the end of this video, after you've liked and subscribed, nice, nice. <laughs> please nice. comment below and let us know which one you'd buy or which one you wouldn't buy, yeah. and reasons why. Because we will look at this and determine: okay, are we gonna order two hundred? Mm -hmm. V in motion B13s or 50. It, it, we don't know, it's not gonna be expensive wheel, but let's go through all the features first and get into it. Let's start off with the price on the V13 because that's, uh, that's definitely like the elephant in the room. Yeah, um, without the pre-ordered early bird discount, which is a significant savings, oh I think it's God. like seven or 800 bucks Canadian oh. savings, but it's gonna be $5,900 Canadian or $4,600 US. Ooh. But InMotion is rewarding you for buying from the first batch, probably because they know people are never want to buy a first batch wheel. Yep. So if you are part of the early bird batch, you will only pay 5,200 Canadian. But 200 or, bucks more than a Sherman for yeah. a, like, you know, a big boy wheel with good range, high speed, yeah. really good tech, safety built into it, and suspension. Yeah, it's got 3,024 watt hour battery compared to the Sherman, which has 3,600 watt hours. Yep. So you're not, you don't have quite as much range, but like the Abrams, the range, the motor was quite efficient once you, once you got up to speed. So I wonder if the 3,000 watt hour battery uh, will give you similar range to the Sherman or not. Um, you mean the three? Uh, oh yeah, okay, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that, that, that's curious to know, but 5,200 bucks Canadian, I mean, we sell a ton of Shermans. It's our second best seller. Yeah. Uh, and the Shermans are selling for $5,000. Canadian. P Canadian now, because of all the inflation and the price of the batteries going up. Yeah. So it's not actually that bad. Yep. It's, I mean, we'll see. But when it gets to, if the, when the price does go up to 5,900, I think that's gonna hurt sales. And I've been talking with InMotion, like, you guys need to find a way to yeah. bring the price down because it does seem that consumers are quite price sensitive. Um, we found that with, uh, I mean, the Go Hero. 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 Yeah, the Go yeah. Hero was a big one. Yeah. It had everything we wanted. It was water resistant, good build quality. No one bought it. A nice big and then they screen. Yeah. released the Master, which let's be honest, the build quality is much cheaper, but people are buying it. Yep. So it's, people are price sensitive. The market determines what sells. And uh, anyway, don't want to drug, drug us into that too much. Let's talk more about the V13. The thing <laughs> has a massive 4,500 watt motor. Like, I know we don't do, I, I just love this number and we'll just relate it to a four wheel equivalent. 300 Newton meters of torque. That's, I, maybe we'll do a conversion for pound, pound feet. And, oh yeah, I mean, but, yeah. But uh, point there just in case, if not, don't be <laughs> mad if nothing follows my finger, but. Man, that's that's like a couple newton meters of torque less, or pound feet of torque less, if you want to do conversion, than a freaking new Honda Civic Si, which is like a monster of a car. Yeah. Like that's that's only like a hundred newton meters less than a freaking Tesla. Yeah, that's serious, serious power. Yeah, it's now insane. what they what In Motion told me is their first version of this new motor they made was so powerful, they actually had to go back and make it less powerful. It was too powerful. There was, yeah. 
it, so extreme that they're like, no, 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 that's too that's, much. That's not so emotional. they went back and they actually made it weaker. <laughs> uh, and it's by no means, this is not a weak motor. And even though it has a 22 inch wheel, it still has 300 new meters of, of torque, which is insane. It's, it's mind blowing. A few question marks. I don't know why I haven't asked yet, but they have, they're using Samsung 35 E cells. Hmm. Um, maybe there's a, a lot of availability of these cells. I'm not sure. If anyone has an idea why they would use these cells, they're the 1850 cells. Comment down below. Uh, yeah, let us know below. I'm, yeah. I'm really curious. Um, the motors, these insane motors also have dual hull sensors. One is a backup fail safe to prevent cutouts, which is really nice to see. I, we really been fighting for safety with these things, especially after the first batch of V12s. And we really want the, in motion to take it seriously. Like and they every seem day, to be, guys. Every day we belabor the point to them. But at the same time, sometimes when they make wheels too complicated and the BMS is too complex, then there can be a ton of issues that usually it can be fixed with software yep. or firmware updates or reflashing or uh, what do we call it? Remote uh, calibration within motion. But we'll see. They uh, have a lot to prove with this wheel, and this is gonna <laughs> gonna be like make it or break it for uh, in motion. I feel yep. uh, in terms of the public trust. Yep. Um, what I love about it, what you probably love about it, living in Vancouver, is it's very water resistant. Very. I believe the battery is IP67. The body is IP55. Yeah. If you've taken part of V12 before, you know how water resistant that is. Yeah. This is just. I'm so glad InMotion is doing this. Me too. Because of this, we're going to talk about the Master Pro later, but I think it'll outsell the Master Pro. Yep. Mostly because yep. of the water resistance. Don't forget too that IP is ingress protection, not just water ingress protection. So even if you're not riding in a super rainy area, if you're riding in like sandstony kind of deserty nice. vibes, dusty stuff, dust can still get in there and dust can still gunk stuff up just as bad or sometimes worse than water can too. So it's yeah. really important to mention that, you know, these increased ingress protections aren't just for people in watery conditions. You can get into a lot of trouble if you're riding a low IP or no IP wheel in non rainy conditions as well. Anything that gets inside of there and gets into your electronics is bad news bears. So yeah. this is great for everybody. Definitely. Yeah. Um, other cool thing, this controller has 42 MOSFETs in it. So it seems like it should be more than enough to... <laughs> so yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, and, and so that's another safety feature and InMotion is really, they've always preached safety and then now they're releasing a wheel that goes 90 kilometers an hour. The pre-spin speed is 140 kilometers an hour. They're gonna be preaching that safety. Uh, be it's insane. Uh, we always thought it was supposed to go 100. Uh, remember way back in one of our videos, we like gave miles some... Miles per hour there. Yeah, <laughs> way back when we uh, gave some like sneak peeks, uh, we knew that this was gonna be a really fast wheel. We also knew that the, uh, it was gonna be more modular. You can actually remove the suspension if you don't want it. Yep. Don't know if people will do that or not, we'll see. Yep. Uh, I, for a big wheel, I almost feel like I don't need suspension. So it depends on how good the suspension is, depends how pogo sticky it is or yep. isn't. Mm -hmm. um, but a 110 pound wheel, it's, it's gonna be interesting to ride, yep. but I, you know me, I love the Abrams. It didn't sell very well, unfortunately. We still got some. We're going to be highly discounting them soon. Yep. Very, very good discount with the yep. new motors. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you yep. want a, a Abrams pretty much at our cost, stay tuned. New um, motor, reflashed, everything. Yeah. Yeah. We also got, let's go to the Monster, Big Old Master Pro, because yeah. they're kind of yeah, they compare apples with and the apples, yeah. InMotion B13, and we'll discuss after... Well, stats are nuts, sell, man. Oh, my it Lord. It also has a 4,500-watt motor. Oh. Uh, but this one can only only oh, reach a free spin speed of 122 kilometers Weird. an hour, which means I'm guessing it'll reach 80 to 85 kilometers an hour. It may go faster for the crazy people who want to push it. Um, but as you know, Bego doesn't really limit the speed, where is the in-motion V13 at 90 kilometers an hour is going to raise the pedals most likely and kind of stop you there. As it should. As it should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry um, guys, the hardcores. But they both have the same motor size, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. And the Bagode Master Pro, I believe, is a torque tune motor, but I have not confirmed that. Hit me with that battery. Um, the battery is a whopping, whopping, whopping. Did I say whopping? Whopping. 4,800 watt hours. Like, if you want a touring wheel, 
This is the touring wheel of all touring wheels. We know our EFAM crew are gonna love the thing because they that is insane. They all got the X20S, but this is just next level. 1,200 more watt hours than the Sherman Max. With suspension. With suspension. And apparently the new suspension is much improved over the previous suspension. Bogota's done a lot of work I on really it. I really hope so. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to test it out. This thing is slightly heavier than the V13 with a lot more battery, so it's surprising, at 118 pounds. Surprisingly, the pricing is gonna be the same as V13's non-early bird pricing. Yep. So $4,600 US, yep. uh, which is gonna be the regular price of the V13 after the early bird sales. And then $6,000 Canadian, uh, only $100 more than the V13. But what's gonna sell better? I think we already know in Vancouver, uh, the V13 is probably gonna sell better with yep. the exception of some fair weather riders or, or enthusiasts that wanna figure a way to water, make their their Bagode Master Pro more water resistant. Yep. Because Bagodes aren't water resistant. Be yep. careful if you ride in the rain. Uh, even if you try to water, make it water resistant, there still could be ingress points. So you want to be very careful. But I think for that reason alone, the V13 is going to outsell the Bagode Master Pro. I am undoubtedly confident. I, the best way to draw this parallel, from a retail's perspective, we sell more of these things than anyone in Canada. Humble brag, <laughs> by a long shot. And um, it's. I used to work in cars and it's very much the same where all the passionate people want to talk about, oh, I want a six speed manual transmission in this car. Like, oh, it's gone to automatic. This is, and you'll hear just on, it's like, it sounds like everybody. When you read forums and comments, it seems like everybody's pissed. But then you look at the sales and they offer a six speed transmission and nobody freaking buys it. Everybody buys the automatic. So I think this is very much the same situation where we have people being like, oh, it doesn't have enough of this and it doesn't have enough of that. And like, oh, I'm gonna go Bogota all day, Master Pro all day, because I wanna go 60 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. But then at the end of the day, we look at the sales and the silent majority. Yeah. And I don't even think, yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like the, yeah. the people that end up buying and not you know, yelling on the comments, I, we want your comments, if, even if you're yelling, but the, you know, the people in the forums, they represent a tiny, loud major minority of the overall yeah. consumer market. I mean, you have the Bagode uh, fans that are For like sure. yeah. diehard Bagode. And I get um, it. I mean, EFAM is pretty much that crew. Yeah. Um, even though they ride Commanders, which is pretty much a Bagode. It's Bagode, yeah, it's Bagode, yeah, pretty much. Real. Um, but I don't even know if the Bagode Master Pro will reach 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour. I don't. I'm sure someone will hit it. You think someone will hit it? Probably. It's 122 kilometers. Free spin is gonna be tight. I mean, it yeah. have to be a lightweight rider, maybe. Yeah. Someone will try. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Um, so yeah. I don't know which one will be the first to hit 100 kilometers an hour. I don't think you'll do it on the V13, even though it's capable, yep. unless someone figures a way to hack the software. But so the two big boys are out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then we have one that I'm actually quite excited for. I think it could be one of the, our best sellers. The sleeper success. The sleeper. Yeah. Um, everyone knows, if you watch our channel, that I love the Bogode T3, even mm -hmm. with the tiny little wheel. Mm -hmm. I just love how it rides. It's it, a great wheel. It's so much battery in a small package. Yeah. Best I, bang for your buck if you don't want to ride in the rain. 100%. Times 1,000. Nothing yeah. comes close to the price point. So the T4 is the very first 16-inch suspension wheel. Mm -hmm. Very exciting that Bogode's doing this. Um, the retail price will be 3,000 Canadian or 2450 US according to eWheels pricing. Yep. Um, oh, that just, okay. Oh, it's quite a little break from the, we are gonna start shipping to the US very, very, very soon. We just got our licensing agreement signed. Yep. So stay tuned for US sales. We're trying to work out, sorry guys, are you, America loves to sue. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to work out some waiver system um, because we only have product liability insurance in Canada right now. When we go enter the US and have a store running in a warehouse, then we'll have product liability insurance down there. So for now, we gotta get a waiver system signed and talk to our current insurance provider so you can so what can be done. Work anyway, some final details. There we're right around the corner from finally shipping yeah. to the US. Like, so. like weeks away. Yeah. Uh, anywho. Back to the T4, 16 inch, inch suspension wheel, only 2,500 watt motor only. <laughs> Quick question, yeah. and maybe we'll just cut this, so we'll just stop before this, but would it be safe to say that if people in the States are pre-ordering for V13s and Master Pros, that by the time they're here to ship, we should almost certainly be good to ship to the States, so they're free to possibly pre-order from yes, us? Yes, but we gotta integrate our waiver system on the website Before first. we do that, so, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, no, we'll leave that in Think there. about it. Maybe yeah. if you're holding on off on a pre-order, you want the best service in the world. <laughs> just hold off for a little bit. We, we try, we try anyway. And we, we <laughs> succeed. Um, 
Yeah, the Bego T4 only has a 2500 watt motor. <laughs> I say only because like a year ago. It was <laughs> it's like, just like, yeah. <laughs> I love um, it. It's a torque tuned hollow bore motor. Yep. So it's going to give you that torque you love out of Bego. Mm. Um, and it's 100 volt, only 100 volt wheel. <laughs> Just, so, just a year ago. Yeah. Where are we going to be in two years? And be like, oh, just a 220 volt. Or... The Master Pro is a 134 uh, volt mm -hmm. battery system. 4,800 watt hour battery. Crazy. I think it's going to have Samsung 50 E cells, the Master Pro. The InMotion V13 is, I believe, the same voltage as the S22, so 126 volts. Yeah. We're hoping that the configuration of the plugs are the same so we can sell a fast charger that works for both. Ooh. We're making one right now, so yeah. we should have it ready even before the wheel's available. Um, anyway, the T4 is going to have Samsung 50 E cells, 1,800 watt hours. Mm -hmm. So it's going to give you a bit more range than yep. the um, T3. Yep. So that's 1,500 watt hours. I was getting 90 kilometers of range. But a bit more weight too. Suspension. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, 90 was... kilometers of range on the... It's a first. All right. <laughs> it is actually... I'm on it. Um, of range on the T3. So I'm guessing the T4 will get you maybe 100. We'll see. Depends how much you're pushing that motor. Um, free spin speed of the T4 is 78 kilometers an hour, which means... I'm guessing you'll get around 60 to 65 kilometers an hour on the T4, uh, which is good enough. It's going to compete with the V12 high torque. Yep. Again, but with suspension. The, not water resistant though. So uh. you want to have rather suspension or you have water resistance. If yeah. you live in Arizona or California or Austin, we're coming for you, Austin. <laughs> we're coming for you, baby. Um, then we'll you might soon. be okay with the T4. Yeah. But for Vancouver rates, I think the V12 is still going to sell better. Yeah. Um, for a 16 inch wheel for a 16 inch wheel. And for a, a price point that's only 3,000 Canadian, the T4 is actually gonna be cheaper than the, it is, yeah, the V13 cheaper, high right? torque, uh, which is pretty pretty cool. It's I'm, pretty I'm excited for it. Um, it's gonna be an amazing wheel for the price. It's got the 100 millimeter suspension on it of uh, travel. And, but will it take away sales from the V13? Maybe a little bit. Uh, what about S18? Just I don't know. We got the new Molly Cell S18 coming. Totally different, though. Weeks. You know, I'll be pretty like, I'll be pretty surprised if somebody's like, ah, you know, T4 V13. Mm -mm. It's like, you know, do yeah. I wanna, do I wanna base one series BMW or do I want a freaking M4 competition? You know, it's like you're paying three times as much and you're getting three times as much. Yeah. So it's a total apples to oranges. Yeah. Way bigger wheel. Different systems, different electronics, bigger motor, bigger battery. And we're hours from trying it. Yeah, I know. I yeah, can't it's wait. right there. I'm I looking at wait. it. I just keep staring we're gonna over. Film like... the, if we have time, yeah, we're going to film the unboxing video. And then for, if I can dip out today, I got a lot of work to do. But if I can dip out, I'm going to give it, take it for a spin. Yeah. I'm going to take it home, not drive to work tomorrow. But I got a new Tesla. So it's Ooh. been. Uh, if you've seen on the Instagram. It's been taking away from my riding. So yeah. I stopped riding to work for a few weeks. If you haven't seen it, I don't know. Uh, we pop a photo up for something. But it is sick. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. If you're going to be at Amped Electric Games, which you should be, huh? please come. It's going to be amazing. We'll have the car there as well. We're driving down. It's going to be a one hell of a drive. Yeah. We're gonna make a vlog just like we did at the S22 vlog video. So if you enjoyed that content, follow along. We're gonna have uh, Bradley's fiance Kate. So we're gonna have a little female energy in the videos yeah. now. Yeah. Ooh, we Ooh. got to give away a prize from the last video. Oh. What we said. Uh, what do you want to win? Ready? Sorry. We we'll cut back all that stuff that we just okay, went through. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dax Shelton. After finally randomly <laughs> pointing to a million comments. Nobody asked for anything in all yeah, the comments. You guys obviously didn't watch the rest of our GT2 video. Understandable, understandably, your EUC fans. Um, but Dak Shelton asked for a Michelin City Pro tire, which we do not sell, so we'll find one. We'll ship one to you. Congratulations, Dak Shelton. Reach out to us. Yeah, Bradley at EVs.com. Yeah, B-R-A-D-L-E-Y. At WBWS.com. Anyway, what do we give away this time? Well, if you, I don't know if we're going to have this part in here. I was whispering it earlier. I think a nice EUC stand. Oh, yeah. We got the yeah. nice. The, the, yeah. It's the best stand ever. The we, best We shipped them to the U.S. now. Yep. One second. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. These things Look at that. are awesome. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that. You can we, can they roll see your wheel on. They can see our legs, yeah? Yeah, I think so. You roll your wheel on, it just fits in perfectly. It'll fit everything from an M103 
to, to a, a Monster Pro. Yeah, Abrams. probably fit all the new wheels too. It fits yeah. an Abrams. It's such an amazing stand. Uh, every EUC owner should have one. If you have three wheels, you should have three. Uh, <laughs> and what do we do for who How gets it? How do you it? win? Let's uh, hot the best take on V13 Actually, versus Master. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, this might be the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, would you tell us which wheel you'd buy, which wheel you wouldn't, and the reason why, and we're gonna pick one of you randomly with my finger. Yeah. Yes. And by the way, in order to know if you won, we're not, we can't private message anyone on, on, uh, YouTube. on YouTube. So you have to watch your videos. But yeah. so far, every single person that has won something. What about the donuts? Yeah, we sent those. We sent them. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Yeah, and a whole cool. swag pack. Nice. So every single person that has uh, won something we announced on their channel yeah. has actually received the prize. We gave away donuts from across the street. Yeah, and stickers and hats and a bunch, yeah. bunch of swag. Wonder, did they reach out and say, I love the donuts? They're amazing or anything? No, they never. Did you <laughs> like the donuts? <laughs> <laughs> were they stale? Um, did, were they they stale? Get... did they get all smushed? <laughs> uh, I sent them the cookie as well. Anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah. We gotta go film the T4 unboxing. I'm gonna try to edit this and get it out today. Ooh. It's all gonna be a busy one today. It's a big one. But uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Be well. Be well. See you in Amp Electric Games. Yeah, come. <sighs> all right, Lucas. Let's go. Oh boy. Oh, we got some specs. Oh, you put all the specs in there. That's new. That's charging. Oh, that's nice. Better airpods? Hey. Yeah, the good ones. I would say that's a good one. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it's so tiny. Little baby master. Here and tiny. Oh, baby. It looks so cute. Wow, it's like actually tiny. I love it. It's so oh small. my god, it's so cool. I didn't expect it to be this small, even though it is Sitting a 16 inch it, wheel. It's so funny. Whoa. Dude, okay. I love it. Look at those bushings at the bottom. Yeah, look at the suspension too there. It's uh, better, better than the other one. Okay. Cool. We're gonna put the batteries in this bad boy. Take it for a spin. Wow. Tire looks all right. That looks kind of cool. A bit of a hybrid. No kickstand. No kickstand, but that's all right. Goods kickstands suck anyway. Nope. No. Oh, well. <laughs>